Hello everybody and welcome to our WordPress 4.0 theme customization tutorial. So uh, today we're going to customize the default theme that come with the uh, WordPress 4.0 and in this video we're going to do we're going to customize um, header top pa top part of the page home page um, and it's going to be this area and that is, uh, we also gonna customize um, menu, small menu that we have um, uh, on this in this header, and we also cust will customize uh, change colors and uh, all of this. Uh, we're gonna customize this search box. So first thing to do, uh, we're gonna do today is to I'm gonna change. I'm gonna show you how to change color of the header. So background color. So first things to do, uh, we need to go to the appearance and click to the on to the on editor link. And in editor link, uh, in editor page, you will sh see that it will show it will open style.css file, and this is a, a major file for customization. It's style sh sheet file and um, in WordPress and in this file, this file we're gonna work with. Uh, first um, thing to do, uh, we need to find um, a particular um, selector and in this case uh, this selector is called site header dot sorry, dot site hyphen header and um, it's gonna be on uh, it's gonna be close to the in the middle somewhere so we'll try again um, uh, this is it uh, this is the right uh, selector and in this selector we're gonna change value of this background color property so um, you can choose any color you can either input like uh, hexadecimal value or just uh, name of the color like gray yellow or purple and I'm gonna use for this tutorial I'm gonna use light slate gray color so I'm gonna type slate gray um, so and then I'm gonna update this file and then I'm gonna update we'll see result I'm gonna update my front page and it's updating So here is the final. It's updated. You receive its uh, background color change, and now it's uh, uh, more <coughs> different, more light. So um, I want to show you that uh, uh, another customization. So right now this header it's uh, not full width of the page. So gonna show you how to make this header stretch all the way to the uh, this right side so what we need to do it's in the same selector that site uh, hyphen header we're gonna um, do max width of this header and we're gonna put there um, um, we're gonna um, comment this uh, selector we're gonna comment with the uh, back column uh, asterisk back column there we go and then we're gonna update this file we'll see if this works and we're gonna update our front page and we'll see Oh, here you go, it works. So now, as you can see, all this uh, header stretch all the way uh, to the right side. And um, so 
Uh, now we're gonna work uh, next we're gonna work at, on a small menu that we have here over here and we're gonna change uh, from uh, background color and and color of the um, font so what we need to do next it's uh, find um, uh, header with uh, uh, not sorry, not header uh, selector with uh, uh, name dot site navigation Asian and navigation space A. So, and as you can see, it's here. And uh, all you need to do is um, to change font color, it's um, to change this uh, property. And we're gonna change it to the gold color everybody likes gold <laughs> and um, next time next thing we need to do is uh, to change background color we're gonna input in uh, another property back ground that and we're gonna change to the dark red dark red and se semicolon at the end and let's update this file and we'll see what we have from the page let's update this too and here we go as you can see we updated but <clears throat> and our colors are changed but we have small slight problem because you see our height uh, of our uh, menu is little taller uh, than the height of the header so now we're gonna uh, fix it and we're gonna use the same uh, the same fix uh, that we used in previous video when we fix this um, hover uh, problem problem over there um, so we're gonna go in the same selector as we have here before so we're gonna we're gonna type um, another uh, property uh, we're gonna type height <coughs> and we're gonna put 100% semicolon uh, don't forget uh, don't forget semicolon uh, let's update let's go again let's refresh <coughs> we'll see what we have Oh, here we go. Uh, so here you see, as you can see, it's it's now the same height. It's not sticking out anymore. Over here. So another thing we need to do is we can do it's to change color of this uh, search menu. And now let's go back again to the admin panel, and we're gonna search for the selector uh, search semi uh, hyphen toggle here we go we find it it's here this one and now uh, as you can see there is background color um, property and you can change it to any colors that you like for example it's uh, let's type purple and um, uh, so and over here in the, that search uh, hyphen toggle uh, column before uh, you can see color it's a color of the uh, font and now we're gonna change to for example also gold so and we'll see <coughs> let's update let's see our result and let's refresh this front page and as you can see it's also updated uh, we change our colors and and of course uh, you can also change colors when you hover over this all you have to do it's a uh, it's a change uh, this this uh, this uh, value Value in the background color uh, 
properties for example if we want to change to just random number like 3ef for example and update let's update here and let's try it was green now it's a very bright color <laughs> not very good uh, combination but it's for the I just want to show you how it works so and another last thing to to, to show you guys it's uh, how to change font default font in the in the page in the front page in the actually it's a whole 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 uh, website so all I need to do it's uh, go to the find let's see let's type again body I'm sorry without that body body uh, comma um, button so here we go I found this here's a selector and all you have all you need to do it's to change this value in the font family property so I'm gonna change to the homa but you can change, you can put any name of a font, uh, Arial, uh, whatever you, Arial or Tribushant or any other file or uh, font name. So let's let's see what we have. Change here we go. It's changed. So all the fonts it's changed, and of course in the future um, I will show you how to change uh, like. Uh, particular fonts for the this menu for example or for this header um, or for, from for this other parts of the real website so this is um, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it